Hello, Turtles! Have you ever looked back at a month of development progress, feeling like almost nothing got done? I certainly have, and I've come to realize that sometimes this feeling is misplaced. By reviewing progress each month, I have found this overwhelming nothing got done feeling is often bogus as there are hundreds of tiny invisible items that got done instead of one single major task. Today, we discuss the review process and how it can help you succeed with your game development dreams. The process of reviewing your month and writing in a report will blow your mind with how much you've accomplished. Perhaps this is overstated, but it helps with the problem of feeling like nothing got done. Many small tasks go unnoticed until taking the time to think about them. These tasks add up to a lot more effort, especially when considering the sensitivity of task swapping. There have been several months where I got disappointed with how little I moved forward with my project. However, after review, things appeared much more successful because it revealed many invisible and forgotten achievements. In case that isn't good enough a reason, there are scrolls of information ready to level up your game development skills if you travel deep into the dark dungeons of your mind. I have been making games for more than 15 years, and in the last two, I have learned deeper lessons by considering what worked and what didn't each month. I have learned over 40 lessons from that first-hand experiences by performing these reviews. A major lesson was that it can be better to put a project on hold than to blindly continue even if that project is otherwise amazing. The scope has simply got too big and risky for smart business choices. Looking back on June 2020 demonstrated how sheer luck can play into marketing with bad timing. Reddit had two posts with critical mass the day I shared similar content, and there just wasn't room for another to rise. Delaying a day or two would have been a better idea. It is popular to review a project after it ships or when it gets cancelled. This is known as a post-mortem. Developers will share what happened, what went well, and what could have been better. This is a great process, but happens after the game is finished, while these lessons can be learned throughout the entire development process. Taking the time to look for them can make it easier to pivot the project if necessary, or even cancel it before it gets out of hand. Rally of Rockets cost $12,000 when I put it on hold, and it easily would have approached $30,000 with minimal chance of financial returns. This was discovered by reviewing the progress each month and tracking the efforts. Now that you know why periodically reviewing a project is a great idea, how do you get started? This review process can be highly personal. I will share my approach as a starting point and allow you to take what best fits your needs. I review how my adventure is performing and extract lessons to learn from every month. This process does take a few hours, but provides significant value by keeping the project on track and allowing for early pivoting if necessary. This is essential for doing game dev as a business, but even hobbyist game developers may benefit from some of the sections which will help keep a clear picture and stay on track. In the description, there is a link to a template document that you can use to get started. The easiest way to get started with a review is to begin with a section that consists mostly of copying data. In my template, I have an area for financials, which consists of how much money did you spend and what did you spend it on? How much money did you earn and what projects earned it? How many hours did you put in and where was your focus and what did the time cost? You can check out this video to learn more about time cost, which is an important concept in approaching game development as a business. Though from a hobbyist perspective, this section is entirely optional. This data already exists, so it doesn't require a lot of thinking to transfer the month into the monthly report. This is good as it starts reminding you of things that occurred during the previous month without much effort. I share all the details in my reports over on Patreon if you want to have an accurate picture of starting a business in games. After warming up with transferring financial and time data, remind yourself what goals you had from the previous report. Copy and paste these into the new report and summarize in two or three sentences what happened to each goal. Perhaps you completed the goal more easily than you expected, or dropped it entirely on the floor. This isn't to beat yourself up, but reflecting helps keep future goals realistic. This section continues warming up the mindset of reflection, which will get more and more important. The next section is achievements, and requires a bit more thinking on what you actually accomplished throughout the month. These don't always align with your goals. Sometimes they are small subtasks or large projects. They don't even need to be 100% complete, just things you've accomplished during the month. This list often proves how much was completed when otherwise you may be feeling like nothing happened. Several monthly reports have reminded me that more things happen than remain in my memory. 
One amazing thing with these reports is checking back on them in the future, so write enough about each task that it will make sense a year later. The hardest and most valuable section of the review process is the lessons learned throughout the month or whatever time period between your reviews. This section requires patience and sometimes talking with a friend who might be asking the hard questions. It takes practice, but find two or more lessons that can better your game development adventure. This takes time and effort. Last month, I reported learning to challenge your expectations. This lesson came from spending months not building a box select tool in my track builder because the naive approach was too time consuming and difficult. A viewer on my Twitch stream mentioned a different approach that I was able to whip up in just a couple hours. Hint, don't transform the box to a frustum, transform the object to screen space because that math already exists. It would have been easy to move on without a second thought but I like to think that some future challenge will benefit from this lesson. After writing a few lessons, most of the previous month or time period is fairly easy to think about, including how you felt and why certain choices were made. This is where I write a long-form summary of the month containing those particular feelings and reasons behind any major decisions. It is also great to add details about the achievements or failed goals and other remarkable things that occurred. This could be doubled as a blog post, or just kept in the report for your future self. The final section of the report is looking ahead at the next month or time period and creating a few goals to aim for. These should be tiny little bits that work toward the much larger goal of the project or company you are trying to build. I highly recommend looking into SMART goals, but the basics of a good goal is to set a time period, which is your review process, and a definitive yes or no result. You don't really want the answer maybe, one of the goals I had for July was to create this video in less than 20 hours. I will put how long it took me in the description below. After finishing the report, keep it somewhere safe and organized with the previous reports. Take what you have learned and share it with other developers as you might help someone else build fun games. Also, give yourself a pat on the back for your achievements as you probably found some that were forgotten or hidden in the dark. If you made it this far, I would like to ask a huge favor. I would like to start another series of shorter videos that answer questions about my experience as a game developer. So, if you have some questions, how I got started, what Crunch was like, or anything else, please leave them in the comments below. Finally, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing with other developers who might benefit from the review process. Subscribe for more game development tips and techniques to help your adventure. Until later, Turtles, have a good one. How much, how many hours did you... Now that you know why...